Coach, why don't you just get us started uh, with your opening thoughts of the game? Yeah, um, yeah, what a game, right? We had way too many turnovers and looked out of sorts and all kind of things, but I think um, I'm excited to see how we're going to bounce back tomorrow um, because we just we didn't have it today. Obviously, uh, Eastern Michigan played a, a, a good game and pressured us and um, got in us like we expected, and so they're, they're a good basketball team. Fred does a good job. It's just I, I'm excited to see how Miami's going to respond to this. I mean, one of the big parts of the game was just the, the ball pressure that Eastern had you guys in the entire game. You know, one, how do you respond you know, so that other teams can't just do the same thing and just and making sure that it's better moving forward? Yeah, other teams are going to do the same thing because we've seen it all year. I mean, I think at this point, everyone in America knows to ball pressure Miami. It's no secret. Um, we had to take care of better, better, better care of the ball. Um, last game we had 21 turnovers. I think the game before that we had 27. Somehow, some way, we we had to instill some confidence in our kids to know you can handle the ball. Your teammates are going to be there to help you out, and um, th that's on us as as a staff. We had to be better there. And not only you know the turnovers, it, it just led to not actually getting any offensive chances when you when you were able to run your stuff. Uh, yeah, it just it seemed like you never got a clean look at the basket tonight, Coach. Yeah, yeah, we did. We just started the offense way too high, way off the arc. Um, I thought when we did execute, we got exactly what we wanted. It was it was far and few between, but um, yeah, it's tough to watch. Again, I just think. Good day, bad day, ugly day. Today was an ugly day. It's still just seeing it and, and taking from it what we can, and uh, we'll get better. Kelly went out in the second half. Uh, any update on her? I know it's just right after the game, but any kind of update? Uh, no, not yet, not yet. I'll say this. I mean, I think um, we're all praying that she's not out for too long because um, she's a very good basketball player, yes, but she is just consistent. She's steady. Um, she's become sort of our calm. <laughs> Um, and just her, her leadership. And so I think more than anything, we're all probably going to be praying tonight that she'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, even with the injuries and everything else, a game like tonight, uh, Carol and I both were talking about it at the end of the game, it's exhausting to play in that basketball game for your team because of the ball pressure always in your face. Uh, how do you rest to get ready to turn around and, and play a Northern Illinois team on Saturday? Yeah, I think it's just it's practicing. it's watching. It. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just taking more time to watch film, to study film. Um, like I said, we've we've gone. Um, I don't want to say too long, but it's been intense. Just trying to prepare for pressure and prepare for traps. And um, the last couple of days have been um, intense in that regard. So I think just watching it and seeing it on film, even maybe running back the last couple of games and seeing how we're turning the ball over, uh, could help. So uh, right now it's just education.